everybody, welcome to Duff News. For this episode, we're going to be starting with our health section. And for today's health, we are going to be talking about the recent seller of ACA in Ohio. Now, the ACA is the Affordable Health Care Act program. And the problem with this is that after Trump was elected, the ACA was dropped out by most insurers, usually because of cost issues. Now, this means that there were some blank areas in America where people could not find or purchase the ACA. And that's an issue because people need to have their health care. So what this seller in Ohio did is they were able to agree to sell the ACA in their program, which means that there are now no blank spots in America where you cannot purchase the ACA and be able to afford to care for your family. So with that said, it's better to go out and get it now before it goes out because there is no guarantee that this is going to stay around. Thank you for watching the health news. Let's bring it out to Dahlia. And now for national education now, I'm pretty sure most of us would agree that school starts way too early and a lot of people don't just don't get enough sleep if you take into consideration school, work, work, and then in addition to that homework, sleep just really isn't a priority as much as it should be. Anyways, teens and adolescents require a minimum of nine to ten hours of sleep every night, averaging about nine and nine and one quarter hours, according to a study done by Stanford University in the ni- in 1970. California actually is the state is one of is the only state that's proposing a first of its kind bill that will outlaw school starting earlier than 8:30 in the morning. And who knows how that'll affect the coffee business, but anyways, back to Yolani. In this week's sports news, 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan is leaving a mystery as to who the backup will be for Carlos Hyde. He has stated, I'm not going to predict any of that until a game this week, leaving many to wait until he has made the decision. In other news, 49ers left tackle Joe Staley has sustained recent knee injuries with tendonitis. However, this will not keep him from playing his September 10th game. Right now, the stand-in remains to be John Theodis. However, Joe Staley himself has not stated any oppositions against playing in the September 10th game. And now for the local economy. Poverty and homelessness is on the rise, but what may surprise you is where California lies on this spectrum. California, what many outside of California, all over the U.S. and even around the world, considered to be a truly golden state, actually has the 17th highest poverty rating in the nation. <clears throat> Home of the sixth largest economy in the world, California's high living costs are the main contributors to this um, increase in poverty ratings. And, and though the living costs uh, have dropped since as of 2016, the rates of poverty show little to no change. Thank you, Dahlia, for that segment on local economy. That concludes this episode of Duff News. I hope you guys will join us for next week's episode. Bye!